everyone. So today I will show you a quick five minute easy yoga morning routine. Keep watching. So let's go to do this video. Let's go yoga routine. You know, it's the best place to do yoga. Wow, that's amazing. Coach Marco, aka Kai Marco PT, and today I am with Lauren Crowder, the goddess of yoga here in Manchester, northwest of England, and we will show you a five minute easy yoga routine. Lauren, why yoga isn't so important for our daily life? Well, first of all, it helps with the circulation and the blood flow. It allows the body to be supple and less stiff, and you'll reduce the aches and pains in your shoulders and your legs. Exactly. And most important, you start the day in a positive way. Exactly. Usually, I will show you exercise or kind of training workout, but this time it will be Lauren to show to us how to do this easy five minute yoga routine. So just get out your mat and just come to a nice comfortable kneeling position. And then when we're ready, we'll just take the arms over the head and just come to a nice good morning stretch. So you want to keep the shoulders away from the ears and just maybe want to arch through the chest and just really give yourselves a nice big good morning stretch. Good. And then exhale the hands down the sides of the body and then take them behind you, interlace the fingers, roll the shoulders back and just draw it through the spine. And just push the chest forward, see how that feels. Good. Take it back down and then inhale the hands to the sky again once more. And then we'll take the hands over and just come to a nice comfortable tabletop position. So you want to make sure the hands are under the shoulders and the knees are underneath the hips. And then we're ready, we'll just drop the head barrel through the chest and then drop the navel towards the mat and just take the gaze towards the sky. And then when we're ready, we'll just arch the back, concave the spine, tuck the pelvis under and chin towards the chest. And you can do this as many times as you want until you feel like you have more and more immobile spine. Come back, concave the spine. And then when you're ready, come back to neutral. And just take the knees a little bit wider than the mat now. Good. And then just drop the weight back and just come forward into child's pose. So maybe you want to keep the head on towards the mat. And you should feel that stretch, you stay there, stretch out the spine down the bottom of his back. I try. <laughs> <laughs> Good. And then you can just stay there and just feel quite at peace in this posture. And just try not to forget about the breath. Good. And then you can walk the hands back in and then come back towards the tabletop position. And then we're gonna just cross the legs behind you, roll the weight over the feet, and then exhale, extend the legs out. Good, so then when we're here, we'll just inhale, take the arms over the head, and then exhale, we'll just place them towards the side. We'll probably feel super stiff now, so we don't wanna overdo it. But let's wait, we'll just lengthen the legs and create space along the hamstrings. Try and keep the chest lifted. And then if you are feeling quite flexible, maybe just take the peace fingers around the big toes and just drop the head down towards the knees. And just do that as many times as you see fit. Maybe you want to feel liquid in this movement. Good. And if you can't grab hold of the toes, maybe you can just use a strap just to place around the bottom of the feet. Then take a nice bend in the knees and come to a comfortable cross-seated position. Good. Inhale the hands to the sky. And then exhale that left hand behind the back, right hand onto the knee. Inhale, sit up nice and tall. And then exhale, gaze over that left shoulder. And you want to feel the twist in that midsection of the spine. Good. Inhale, sit up all the way to the sky. And then come down towards the other side. Gaze over that shoulder and feel that twist in the midsection of the spine. Good, inhale back to the sky, and then exhale all the way forward fold. Good, and just lengthening through that spine once more. And if you do struggle, just place the hands closer towards the knees, and then just drop the head. Well done, see how easy that is. And then we'll just take them all the way over again, Tuck the toes underneath you and then just send the weight back to downward facing dog. And it's important when we're in downward facing dog that we keep the head down. <laughs> and just extend through the spine. Yeah, see how much of a difference that makes. Good. And then maybe you want to pedal it out. So when we pedal it out, we just do the 
this with our feet and drop alternative heels in towards the mat. Good. Then when you're ready, take the gaze towards the top of the mat and just lightly step forward all the way towards a halfway lift, flat back. And then exhale all the way towards the sky. And it's that simple. Yes, Lorin, thank you. I feel better. I'm ready to start my day on the top. Yeah. And just uh, watch this video and do this easy movement. You see, I'm not the best one. Uh, I need to work hard on my yoga, on my flow. The flow. My... So we can do that as many times as we want, just to go over the movement. And basically it will lengthen the spine, it will just create the mobility in the shoulders and just allow length to occur in the legs. So you should feel really nice and fresh afterwards. So if you liked this video, give Marco a nice big thumbs up. Or comment below and see if you'd like to see any more of what I do. Stay strong. Stay healthy. Stay fit. Stay connected. With Cali Marco PT. And Lauren, the goddess of yoga. Yo! <laughs>